I'm Christine Caldwell and I'm from the University of Stirling. We've been testing some of the uh, human visitors to living links and presenting them with similar challenges to the ones that are currently being given to some of the monkeys. So we asked people to build a tower from spaghetti and plasticine. We also provide uh, the participants with information about how other individuals have gone about doing this, so we show them photographs of other people's towers. Their goal generally is to build a tower that's as high as they can possibly make it. What that can show us are interesting things about the sort of information that we get from other people and why that's useful and why culture is useful, why culture might have evolved as you know, a useful capacity to humans. So what we find is that um, people that have been able to see the solutions of previous participants do better on this task. The non-human primates show that effect as well, so we find that seeing a skilled demonstrator in the monkeys works for them too and they tend to perform better. Um, but what we can find in the human participants, which seems to be a bit more elusive in the non-human primates, is this cumulative effect of increasing performance over, over kind of a chain of learners. People that can see the solutions of people that have seen previous solutions themselves do even better. So the sort of cumulative progress in terms of how well people do on this task. So it, it shows that in human populations, knowledge can kind of accumulate and be passed down. And that's really key to why culture is actually so adaptive for us. One of the reasons that we're doing this study in Living Links is firstly to tie in with the Social Learning and Traditions project. There's a link between what we're doing with the human participants um, and what's going on with the monkeys. But also it's really important to us to communicate to the public about the project we're working on. So we like to use um, visitors at places like Living Links because that allows us also to pass on the message about the science that we're involved in. 